You could do it, put your back into it. How many eggs did we get, Allie? Ten. Get this forerunner out of the hole that it's in right now, hopefully. Oh, man, I'm just like spinning out right now. Third of water. We have got cabin fever. Subscribe Ooh. and come along. Good morning and welcome back up to our homestead up here in Southern Utah. Man, it just would not stop snowing. It's supposed to snow more today. I feel like we got like a foot and a half of snow just when we thought it was over. It's about nine and 9.30 in the morning. I came out here, I just started the tractor to start removing the snow. But if you saw our last video, the winch cable came out and apparently the winch cable is supposed to be bolted to the side of the spool and the, the bolt is gone. Like for whatever reason, either it wasn't there or it fell out, but it felt, I feel like it just wasn't even there. That rope winch just like fell out, like no, no issues or anything like that with it coming out. It just like fell. The company's sending me a new bolt, but it's not going to be here till Friday. That really messes with us up going up and down the mountain. I definitely feel a lot safer knowing that I have a winch to pull us out of any situation that we get into. I'm going to try and fix it today myself without Without the bolt here, I think I have like a, a, a bucket full of bolts. That involves me taking the entire winch bumper off, getting to the winch because I can't get to it with the way that the, the whole setup is on that 4Runner. So I'm gonna take it off and try to get it on there so that we're able to go up and down the mountain safely and without any worry of us getting stuck. But before I can do that, the shop is pretty much snowing. I mean, I can open the door and there's a, there's a good foot and a half, two feet of snow right there. And then I still have a bunch of snow that's gonna fall off the roof. Is it deep? Yeah. <laughs> deep. Super deep. deep. Super deep. I just need to clear some snow out, kind of make everything a little more manageable and able to move around up here. Got the tractor going. I'm going to jump on that, start removing a bunch of snow. I also need to clear the panels off. The sun is supposed to come out a little later on today. That will be nice. We need some vitamin D up here. Deep it is. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Put your back into it. <laughs> Lift with your legs. The, our entire pad was literally rocks. You could see the ground. It was a little muddy. It was like over. And now, like, <laughs> it's up to my knees. Uh, doors on this side of the, the, the workshop. Whose idea was it? Yeah, I think idea. it was mine. I'm really sorry. We should have done the pitch the opposite direction. Yeah, we should have put the gable ends on the doors on the gable ends. Yeah. Oh my goodness. YOLO, baby. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO. Remember when it was spring a couple days ago? <laughs> Remember when we tried to work on the garden for a second? Yeah. And now we're shoveling snow again. When does winter stop? <laughs> I think it's going to go all the way through summer. <laughs> oh, the kitties are hungry. There you go, baby. The tractor's barely getting through it. What's your plan? 
plan. Snow removal? Okay. yesterday knowing that it was going to be really cold today so I'm hoping that the yogurt helped us to get some nip some more eggs. Just give them regular plain yogurt. did we get Allie? 10. 10? 10. It's no 30. <laughs> I got 30 the other day. Yeah. But yeah, it's cold out. You look really short walking in the snow right here. Thank you. <laughs> you look like super short, Baba. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> okay, go. The snow is just falling off the garage right now. Oh, yeah. Get up, Bear. Don't let him win. Can't. You can't? can't? Oh no, you lost your glove. Oh no. I can't. Dang it. I can't. Yeah. Oh, sweet, Allie, <laughs> Get him, Allie. <laughs> so after lunch, Hubby came out here to tinker on the Jeep. He's got it working well, and we're going to take it for a little ride. But it's going to be a sled ride on the back. Ready, girls? No. Is it party time, Ricky? Yeah. Is it time to go sledding? I'm going to die. Here we go. Lean back! Yeah. 
going this way down the I-5 where does that take me off a cliff bro oh you want to go cliff jumping I think I'm lost <laughs> <laughs> Snowbanks? Snowbanks, yeah. What Allie else? drove Allie drove the Jeep around by herself. Yes. Her second time driving a, tra a car. That's so awesome. She did awesome. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm glad we got the Jeep kind of figured out. It's working a little better now because the winch on the forerunner I gotta fix and I don't feel like getting into that right now. So the Jeep has one and it's running great. But we'll see you guys in the morning. Allie is driving the Jeep. You can do it again? Okay. Love you. Have fun. Be safe. <laughs> All right. Good morning. It's the sunny day from yesterday is over. It is overcast and it snowed a little bit last night. Look at the Jeep, we got a little bit of snow. We were gonna head to the cabin and do some painting, but the snowstorm was just too much. After like getting two feet of snow, it just wasn't in the cars. We didn't want to get stuck. That being said, we did go down the mountain last night to go drop a trailer off and Larry was helping us out do a few things to get some, our trailer into town. In that process, since the truck is in town and not up here, we use the 4Runner. The 4Runner just doesn't have enough power to get us down there with the trailer attached. The 4Runner got stuck down the mountain and at about 9 p.m. last night I had to walk in the pitch dark like probably a mile back up here and um, anyways that was it was super fun <laughs> um, so right now we're all gonna jump in the Jeep we're gonna run down there get this forerunner out of the hole that it's in right now hopefully the thing I'm worried about is it being frozen to the ground because the roads got plowed yesterday so everything froze and that's what the Jeep or not the Jeep but the forerunners in right now so hopefully we can just pull it right out with the winch or just back it up start it up back it up whatever and get it up here because today unfortunately we're going back to Vegas because Allie is headed home I'm sad to see her go yeah. but so we're gonna go get the we're gonna go get the forerunner right now and then head to Vegas Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Well, the Forerunner is close enough that I think I'm gonna let Charlie take a little run. He's just gonna run right next to the Jeep and we're gonna go down and go get the Forerunner. Today is the last day up at the property for Allie Boo. It was her spring break. <laughs> Allie, did you have fun yeah. playing in spring up at the property? Spring. <laughs> yeah. It's more like you got a snowed in winter, right? Definitely. Yeah, it's like Christmas break. <laughs> it's like Christmas break is right. So we're headed down the mountain to go get the Forerunner. We don't have our Yankum rope or anything like that, so I don't know. Hopefully it's not too frozen. Hopefully we can either just get in and drive it out or just the winch, pulling up a little bit of the winch, giving it a little bit of force to pull it out will work. If I remember correctly, it was really dark, but it's pretty buried. So with all the snow and from for us being from Vegas and like just moving up here to the middle of nowhere, we're grateful for Larry and all he does, but like what can we do to be more self-sufficient next year? I think these type of situations is like a good reminder of like the things that we want to do to be more self-reliant. And we want to hopefully get a mini snow cat at some point. So if the stuff like this happens, we can just get down the mountain ourselves and fix everything. And get out of whatever situation we need to. This winter is so crazy, so I don't even know if this is what the norm is or what. Anyways, we just want to be prepared of it for everything, and having a snowcat will definitely help out with that. Next year, that's on the plans. Look at this, even not even suit. It's still a little bit soupy. Oh my goodness, and the ruts are just horrible. This is from the, this is from the trailer and stuff last night. Here she is. All right, what's the plan of attack? Because like you said, the fenders are buried. Yeah, let's go start it up and see if we can just back it up since it's a lot more frozen right now. And if we can do that, then we're cool. If not, we can try to like winch it. Charlie boy. You made it. You made it. You ran all the way down here? <laughs> look at the handle, just all the mud on it. This is crazy. But you, look at these. Look at my ruts from yesterday. It's terrible. Let's see if we can get this door open. <laughs> it's like frozen, man. What do we do? Like, are the tools in the back of the Jeep? Can you get the chisel out? Oh, man. Do it from the inside out? Yeah, I'm just gonna start it and figure out what to do next. Oh my goodness. I just hope we're not frozen to the ground. We're supposed to be getting a lot of road work done on our road. Okay, as you can see, there's like, it goes up this way, it goes up this way. So it just becomes like a, a river in a sense. We need to like put some drainage on the sides, crown the road. That way it doesn't stay on it, it'll go off it. And then also maybe put a few culverts in and stuff like that. That's, we'll that sounds happens. like a very expensive project. Yeah, especially when it's like For seven, eight miles or not know. even a handful of people that live up here. Yeah. I'm going to try to just back up and if I can back up, then I feel like as long as I can drive forward and get over this little bump that I've, that I've created for myself, then I should be getting to that time. Oh, yes. We're moving. You're not even like getting over it. Let's wench it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave the Jeep here. Let's take it up there and one try to just pull us out really slow and then maybe we'll sit on top of it and be able to drive out of here. Okay. Charlie's just watching the show. You see Charlie over there just watching the show? Yeah. <laughs> Crawling through the back like Nick did. Oh my goodness. There's car seats. It's a little tight. <laughs> Times like this, I'm happy I'm flexible and fit. Sorry, sorry. I'm hitting the horn. Ready? Just give it a little bit of gas. Put it in drive. It is. Okay. 
pick up a little bit. It's the back that's the issue right now. There we go. Just a little bit, a little bit. Let it go. Let it freeze. Okay. A little bit more gas. Just, just kind of don't, don't, don't spin the tires at all. Are they spinning? No, it good. doesn't feel like it. No, you're good. Go left a little bit. I'm gonna have to get in here. Okay, I think we should be good now. You're out of the hole. Just try to stay out of the, any more ruts if you can. I'm gonna have to like turn around right here and then go up and then, so can you see or no? Kind of? Yeah, I can kind of see. Okay, all right, let's- uh, The defrosters are on, so hopefully okay. it'll kick in here pretty soon. I'm gonna disconnect and stow the, the winch cable, turn around and then we'll just head up, just stay in here and get warm and we'll head up. Okay. I barely gave it some gas and it started spinning the tires. So let's see if... Nick's doing the same thing. It's like an anchor. But we got out of that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nick is out of the way, he has turned around and I'm gonna see if I can get the forerunner caught up to it. Man, I'm just like spinning out right now. I didn't get far at all. Well, we don't have our Yankum rope, so this is a strap. <laughs> Hopefully it'll help. Yeah, I just feel like your tires are full of mud, so you just have no traction. I just need to get you going. Maybe we'll just pull you all the way home. Like, whatever. Okay. Try not to dig a hole, just like... Let me pull you a tiny bit. Okay. Like, maybe put it in neutral for one second or something. Let me pull you up, and then once you pull it, just slide it back into drive. Okay. She's right behind us. Oh, tug it, tug playing tug wheel right now a little bit, but I think we got it. We're just creeping up to a safe spot where we can disconnect and then head up the mountain. Should be good. What do you think? I think you're good now. What are you? I felt like I was good. I felt like I was gonna run over the rope a couple times because I was okay. getting close right. to you. So. All right. Oh, I don't think I'm getting this on time. Oh shoot! You gonna have to cut it. Do you think it looks like we got a lot of that mud off the tires too? Like it's not so... Uh, I think once you start going, going it will, but this is what happens when you don't have a tow rope. You have a strap, you gotta... <laughs> Chop it off. Yeah. Charlie boy! Hey, bud. All right, here we go. We're gonna go up the big steep mountain. The good thing about this though is it's usually a, like a more rocky mountain, so it doesn't have like that clay that we were getting stuck in before. Man, I spoke too soon. I got stuck again. Shoot. Here comes my knight in shining armor to my damsel in distress mess. So that is the forerunner engine is driving the Jeep and I'm trying to get both the vehicles up the property. Now we're just waiting for daddy. up to the property what do you think babe I just feel like the Jeep made it so much more smoothly than the forerunner what are you thinking yeah I mean I was able to drive the Jeep so <laughs> and um, you know I was struggling with that forerunner I yeah, used to have to get a little momentum yeah I think like, the tires and the clearance on this Jeep is way better than the forerunner but the forerunner is way more reliable obviously yeah I'm just worried about getting down up and down the mountain okay I think we should probably take this into town. 
Okay. Yeah, grab the truck. Cause we have what, 13 miles to town? Okay. Just cruising four, four high, four low, I mean. Okay. And then just go. All right. Anyway, yeah, I think we're gonna pack everything in the, up in the Jeep, all the suitcases or whatever, and then head out. Yeah. So we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. This generator has been a lifesaver. Boom. Thing is just start it up whenever I want, charge it, turn it off. Like easy. I mean, it's a propane generator. There's a propane tank buried in snow and it uses hardly anything. Anyway, I wanted to come over here and look at these water tanks. If you're new to our channel, we do not have a well. So we have four 2,500 gallon water tanks and we filled them up, I think in October. As the water level gets lower, it's more prone to freezing, you know, just cause it's less water. But last time I checked, we probably had just under half or one third of water left, which means about 3000 gallons. We've changed our habits since then. So I hope that the water level looks good when I open this. Cause I don't want to be, be like, we're out. <laughs> anyway, let's look at it and see what it's, what it's. All right, well, it looks like we probably have about a foot and a half, maybe two foot left. So, but it, there's a, definitely some ice. Don't know how much ice that is. But we were getting low, that's for sure. So the water's a little low, that worries me a little bit. Forecast is showing the next six days is just sun. So I'm hoping that's a telltale sign that winter is over. Don't say it too loud, we'll jinx it. We got about a third of water. Oh, okay. Maybe a little less. How frozen is it? It's frozen. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta... We've been very sparing on showers. We're gonna have to be more. Okay. Just cause I don't wanna run out. The crazy thing is, is this time last year, everything was dried up and we were uh, able to like trailer everything up. Yeah. And so right now we can't do that. Yeah, we have to a- To go get water. We have a trailer that we put like those uh, IBC totes on and they're like 275 gallons a piece of water. And we go down, there's a, a well probably 15, 10, 15 minutes away. And we're able to do that when there's no snow. And then we just like do a trash pump, two inch trash pump and just transfer the water. We got to do a bunch of trips. It's, it lets us have water and yeah. we can't do that in the winter time at all. Yeah. Um, it, Cause the trailer weighs about 12, 13, 13,000 pounds pulling up here. It just won't, doesn't have the traction. Yeah. And so, right now, cause we're so high up on a mountain to tap a well would cost us like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. If not more. At least. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to unload this Jeep and then load it up with a bunch of stuff. Get out of here before the thaw happens. And then we're headed to Vegas, baby. Yeah. I Third can't day. wait. My parents are down there, so I'm excited for a 20 minute shower. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna load up. The is we can turn it off and on by the computer. The solar system puts out a Wi Fi signal, so I just log on to its Wi Fi and then I can connect every. See shows. the battery power? It shows everything right here. That's the generator. I don't, it says only 89%, but it's actually 100. Anyway, yeah, so I'm turning it off right now. Well, change of plans. We're actually not gonna take the Jeep. We're gonna take the 4Runner because the Jeep just threw an engine code. And for whatever reason, my engine code reader isn't working. So I'm not gonna spend time doing that. I need to get down the mountain before it thaws out. My wife is over there just feeding the chickens and everything. And then we are out of here. Fingers crossed that we can make it without any issues because our winch does not work right now. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> all right, we're all loaded up in the car and we are headed to Vegas. And rather than bore you with our road trip, <laughs> shenanigans this is where we are gonna end this video everyone say bye to ali boo bye ali bye, we bye, love you baby. we'll see you in the summer but uh yeah we're gonna go drop off at the airport in vegas and then we'll be back up here to do more hopefully finish stuff. the cabin yeah and begin working on our homestead and our house yep. anyway That's thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe if you have not already and we'll see you guys in a few days see you in a few days Bye. Set out on the open road, same old place you always used to go. You were young. Speeding through a 50 song like your dad before, you didn't even know.